Good morning and welcome to Poem Physics 365. Physics every single day of the year. Physics past, present, and future. The podcast doors are closing. Alright friends, hello and welcome to this 21st of January 2016 Thursday. And what do we have for you today on this day in physics? 21st of January, 1962, we say happy birthday to Dutch theoretical physicist Eric Verland, who turns 54 today. Eric's specialty is in string theory and introduced a controversial theory for gravity known as entropic gravity. This explains gravity not as a fundamental force, but rather as a byproduct of the fact that systems tend to increase in entropy. One draw to this theory is that it correctly predicts the strength of dark energy, a previous word of the day. So now we know what dark energy is, sort of. And that brings us to our word of the day, which is entropy. According to Wikipedia, in thermodynamics, entropy, usually the symbol S, is a measure of the number of specific realizations or microstates that may realize a thermodynamic system in a defined state specified by macroscopic variables. Entropy is commonly understood as a measure of molecular disorder within a macroscopic system. Okay, great, but what exactly does that mean? It means that entropy is a concept heavily involved with thermodynamics of a system. The second law of thermodynamics is as follows. In a reaction, or any sort of interaction between bodies, the entropy always increases. Okay, so now we know that it's always increasing, but so are a lot of things, so it doesn't really explain what entropy is. From hyperphysics, entropy is a measure of the amount of energy which is unavailable to do work. And lastly, and probably most simply, it is the measure of disorder in a system. So... The second law of thermodynamics really says that the disorderedness of a system is always increasing. This is probably the easiest way to think about it. Entropy is also known as time's arrow. Entropy is always increasing, so if you were to see a series of images of a system's evolution, and you know the amount of disorderedness of each image, ordering them from least to greatest would put them in chronological order. Think of it this way. If you were to see a series of pictures of a glass falling off of a table and shattering on the floor, it would be possible to place them in chronological order. Yes, why is that? If you were to place a few drops of red dye into a glass of water and not react with that system in any way, eventually the dye would evenly disperse through all of the water, making it the lightest reddish hue possible. This is the most disordered state possible. When a system cannot possibly become any more disordered, it is considered to be in equilibrium. So that is entropy. So let's tie that in with the third segment, the killer resource. Today is a YouTube clip from uh, Star Talk with Neil deGrasse Tyson. And in this uh, segment, Neil deGrasse Tyson talks about entropy and how life exists on Star Talk. We are somewhat ordered organisms, and we do like to order items. How is this possible if entropy is always increasing? Well... Neil will take you into that and more. So head on over to the blog, pwnphysics.blogspot.com, and check out the uh, 21st of January 2016 entry for that YouTube link and all other sort of wonderful links. So I think that's going to do it, guys. Until tomorrow, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time, guys. Take care. The pod bay doors are reopening. You may now resume normal life functions.